So, I never wanted to make a video like this because it's really not my personality to do something like this. I try to keep it pretty fun and happy and that's just kind of who I am. Uh, but as you guys know, Scotty released a video basically saying why well, I was no longer on the channel and uh, just wanted to talk about it and just kind of, you know, I respect Scotty for putting out that video. I do. Um, I just, I'm not going to get super into detail and drag anyone else who was in that video into this because honestly, the reasons that me and Scotty's relationship going sideways wasn't really, I mean, I'm sure those had a part in it, but that's, I'm telling you guys from my personal perspective, that's not why I, and that's not why, sorry, if I'm, I'm going to stutter a lot, I'm not going to edit this, I'm just throwing out there because I, I don't know, but me and Scotty were kind of button heads, not because of that so much. Uh, but as let's just, I'm just gonna make it quick and kind of short and to the point. Um, Cause I don't want to do this. Cause I'm just trying to move on. Uh, you, you guys will understand in a second why I'm just trying to move on. And uh, I just want to start off the video saying I don't have any negativity towards Scotty. Like we are good. Um, I know you guys probably saw his Instagram post. Like, I just wanted to quickly put a video up saying that I've been getting a lot of messages of support and I really appreciate it. And I've also gotten a lot of messages like targeting Big Boy and Trey and Kelsey. And, you know, things aren't what they used to be, but we've all forgiven each other. Like my sister apologized to me that night for saying what she said. Um, so please don't direct message my sister or Big Boy or Trey or comment anything mean. We're all just trying to move on from this. And uh, that's what this video was supposed to be. This is the first one. So please, no more negativity. Let's just move on, guys, and uh, find whatever it is that makes us happy. We were fine, um, and I, we're just both just trying to move on. That's it. Um, but what I will say is this. Uh, Scotty moved to Florida. I was living in my van. Um, uh, well, actually, no. Fast, fast back, way back. Scotty moved to Florida. was renting a house here, and I was living with Kelsey and Trey. Then we went back to New Jersey for a summer. Then we came back to Florida because Scotty had actually bought a house here, and I had decided to convert my van that I had bought into a little van. I lived here for seven months in the van, and uh, Scotty, and then I, as I you know, finished up the seven months in the van, I kind of was getting ready to have my own place. Like I had indeed started to, t I had started Be Weird, that clothing brand, probably about three years ago in Scotty's cousin's basement. And it was something that I never took seriously. And then finally, I kind of wanted something that was like for myself that I could do and like put my own passion into other than just riding and filming every single day. I decided I was going to put my passion into something like that. And I started creating Be Weird to kind of just like express myself in a way, just have my own type of expression. So that's why I created that. And I was kind of wanting to do more with that. And I knew living in a van, I needed some space and stuff like that. So I was going to rent an apartment. And uh, I just, not only that, I just... I lived in the van for seven months. It was awesome. It was one of the greatest life experiences, but I just wanted a place to like, just have my stuff. You know what I mean? Like I, I didn't have any like this, like little knickknacks and stuff like that. I just wanted, I just wanted a place. I just, I did it. And I was like, just like, you know what? I want, I want a place. So I was like, talking about renting apartments and then I decided, you know what? You know, Scott seemed really, really happy about living in Florida at the time. And, uh, I was extremely happy. I love it here. Like, as you guys know, if you watch the channel way back to the first video, I've always been the goofy guy that loves to do crazy dumb stuff. Like, I just love it. I just live for that kind of stuff. It's just fun. I just like to have fun. And here we have a ton of fun because I, I don't know what it is about Florida, but it's a ton of fun. Um, and that being said, I thought he was stoked. So I ended up making, like, one of the biggest life decisions of my entire life. And I, I bought a house here. And um, obviously, before anyone says anything, I understand and I am so incredibly thankful. And if you guys watch the video of when I got this house on Scotty's channel, I was so thankful of all of you guys and all in Scotty for everything that he has done for me because without you and YouTube and obviously the money that came from it, I would not have this. And then that brings in the next thing about money. I never once in my entire life gave a hell about any type of percentage or money or anything like that when it came to YouTube. I was just doing the YouTube videos and I was stoked. I never asked Scotty why I got paid so, why, why I got paid anything or what, like, you know what I mean? I just got my check and went on with life. You know what I mean? I didn't ask what percentage I was making. I just was stoked. I was making a really good amount of money. And I will 100% say that Scotty did not mistreat anybody when it came to paying them. 
Scotty was very good with that, 100%. That being said, I never, you know, I didn't know about that 30%. I had no idea. But that's awesome, and I never once made a comment about getting paid too little or too too much. I just got paid what I got paid, and I never really asked about it. And honestly, being that age, making that kind of money, I was stoked. I didn't have to go work to do whatever. But as you guys know, like, uh, it just, I, I never have anything really too bad to say about Scott when it comes to that. And not really anything at all. Like I love Scott. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not first of all, I really want to put this out there too. I'm not making this video in any beef towards Scotty. I have no beef towards Scott. I have been through so much with him. It is unreal. Whether it was starting the channel up, all the cool times we had before his accident, all the cool times we had after his accident, going to the hospital with him when he was there, you know, me and all the guys collectively coming together to keep the channel going while Scott was in the hospital so that he had, you know what I mean, like, and then getting him stoked that, you know, that was part of the recovery. Like, it, I have no regrets of anything or bad blood about anything that has happened over the last four or five years. But, unfortunately, I do believe that after four or five years, I think both me and him started not to see eye to eye on things. And I realized when I had my house in Florida and me, and I was loving it, I started to realize that Scotty really didn't seem to be loving it much. I mean, he made it apparent, but I didn't really know what to do because I bought a house in Florida and I knew he was going back to New Jersey and I had my van still and I was going to go back to New Jersey and I thought we'd go back for a couple months and that would be kind of it. But I, I don't have the means to like have a house here and live in New Jersey, nor did I have that much of a want. I just kind of wanted to go back and visit New Jersey for the summer months, film, and then come back here in the winter months and live at my house. Like, I knew that was the plan. I, I was down to do that. So I took my van there, and all the stuff that involved the ramp, that's, I, I mean, I'm sure it did have some part of it in being a thing, but I basically knew that Scotty wasn't too into Florida, and I knew that I had set my life up here. I bought a house. When you do something like that, it's not exactly like a super easy reversible thing. So I knew that there was a chance that Scotty was going to want to stay in New Jersey full time. That being said, I had started filming videos for my YouTube channel. Wanted to kind of have my own thing. But never at one point did I ever put my videos before his videos. I would sh text him every morning on the dot. Hey, what are we filming today? And then would wait until we had to film. And then when we filmed, we'd do our thing. And then if I had time after, I would film videos on my iPhone. When I was living in Florida before that and when I went out to New Jersey. Everything was filmed on my iPhone. I wasn't doing it in place. It was just something to have on the side as a creative outlet that, God forbid, Scotty didn't want to come back to Florida. I could have that as a backup. He said it was a backup, and that is indeed true. Unfortunately, I knew that things we're potentially not going to be moving back into the direction of Florida. And I just, I thought maybe, you know what, at this time, it's probably time that I grow up a bit and do something for myself, you know, like have something for myself and not has nothing to do with bad blood against Scotty. I wasn't trying to be competitive in any type of way. I was just trying to have something that was mine and that I could, continue growing. If he didn't want to go back, there would be no pressure and I could go do my own thing and he could go do his own thing. That happens on YouTube all the time. And that happens with people all the time. And again, I'll say there's no bad blood and I'm not saying, and, 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 and also the other thing I forgot to say was in regards to the ramp. I bought this house and I was scared. I was nervous about putting the ramp up because I was so scared that my homeowner's insurance was going to cancel me. Like I just bought a house and we put a ramp in like two weeks in, like I was scared of it. You know, and him and Trey were like, oh, let's do it, let's do it. We were stuck in quarantine. We couldn't do anything else. It was the only videos we could film. So it was either build a ramp at the house or film no videos. So we built the ramp at the house, and I was stoked in the first half. Then the second half came about, I was head case again. I was like, dude, my insurance is going to cancel me. My neighbors, I had a complaint from the neighbor across the street that told the township, and then I had to get it cleared up with the other neighbor who works for the township, and they cleared it all up. And at that point, I was like, all right, like, let's chill in the building for a bit. And then I, I spent, like, obviously now I'm cool with all my neighbors and it's cool. We can kind of do whatever. They, they understand what's going on. But at the time, nobody understood it. And I was just bought a house and I was freaking out. And I didn't know what to do. And, like, I'm so stoked that I got the ramp. I genuinely am. But I just, you know what I mean? Like, I understand that Scotty spent the $4,000 on it on the first batch and $4,000 on the second batch. 
And but the thing was, it, we did it for film videos, and I'm so thankful that I got this ramp out of it. Don't get me wrong; I'm not saying that at all. Like I'm very blessed to have this ramp thing. But I will say this: I know something about YouTube, and I'm not saying this in a negative way or anything like that. But that ramp, based off those videos we filmed, was paid back ten times. So I'm not trying to be that guy to come back and be like, "Ooh, jab, jab, jab." I'm just saying the honest to God truth. But. I am so happy that it happened, and that was that's why the whole ramp thing being the beef point for me, that wasn't it at all. That was not where we came to butt heads. It was just honestly, after years and years of having such separated personalities, it just, I think, at a certain point, after like five years of doing it every single day together, I think at a point, me and him just couldn't see eye to eye anymore. And we tried to make it work when I went back to New Jersey. I showed up back to New Jersey in my van, toughed it out, lived in the van. Like, not toughed it out, I liked it, first of all. Maddie... Maddie, Donna, Big Scott, all of them let me live in their front yard in my van, and I literally cannot thank them enough. I can't thank the Kramer family enough for anything and everything that they have done. They are some of the greatest people in this entire world. They really, really are. They are like my second family. Maddie's like a brother to me. Kelsey's like a sister to me. Scotty, I don't, he is like a brother to me as well. That dude has had such an influence in a positive way of my life, and I will always thank him for that. But we went back to New Jersey, and I know this is kind of all over the place. I'm sorry. I just I don't I just want to just not have edits or anything like that. I just want to be this just whatever is here just out just whatever's here just out to you guys. Take it for what you want. Went back to New Jersey, and yes, there was things that were just weren't clicking. And you know, it was I was kind of really motivated to film YouTube videos all the time. I wanted to film like almost every day or every other day. Like, and I was, I was good. I was like, Leo, let's, what are we filming today? Some days Scott wouldn't be into filming. And like, I understand that people are dealing with things all the time. And you know, hindsight, looking back, I should have been able to read more that maybe there are certain days he didn't want to film because of other things that were going on or other things he had going on. And I, I will admit fault for that, that maybe I wasn't, you know, I was so eager to film videos with Scott and stuff like that. But there's a lot of days where I was just sitting in Jersey completely bored, not doing anything. So Maddie was doing his YouTube stuff. So I said, if we're not filming a video with Scotty, I would go help Maddie with stuff. And then when I was helping Maddie with stuff, I would film stuff like this. But I didn't film any riding footage while I was in the state of New Jersey because I did not want to conflict with Scotty's videos. I did not want to do that. I wanted to show to him that I have, I'm not trying to compete with you. I just want a little something that is mine just to have. Just something for as a creative outlet for me. So I'd go to the batting cages and get balls thrown at me in the batting cages or break stuff behind the bike shop with Maddie in Brooklyn. Like I, w I was filming it all on my iPhone and taking it not seriously at all, but just having fun and just doing me. Just being, I don't know, just like behind the scenes of the videos. Like you guys see me on the channel all the time on the bike and I was just like trying to do stuff off the bike and just have fun and have a creative outlet. And I don't know if that was okay or not with him, but then at a certain point, he just stopped talking to me and I totally understand now after watching this video that he is going through something and I get that now but at the time I didn't know so I stayed for about three weeks reached out to him damn near every day uh, trying to see what was going on and I just I understand at the time he was going through something so me reaching out every single day probably didn't make the situation much better and Scott if you're watching this I truly do apologize for that um, but I didn't know what to do. I didn't, I, I wasn't, there was no communication. And then, you know, as he said in his video, his wife said, Hey, I think it's best if you go back to Florida. We're trying to figure some stuff out. So I had no choice. I packed up my car, literally everything I owned into my WRX and I packed back to my house in Florida. And when I got here, you know, I had reached out to Scotty before I left, said some stuff, no reply, you know, got back here, reached out again, no reply. And then I was like, okay, I can't put my life on hold for this. I have to, I have to continue to move forward. Like, I don't, I, I, I wanted to have a conversation and I had said in a text message that, hey man, I think that we're not seeing eye to eye anymore and that may be why we're not talking. But I think that we need to talk to end this in a good way so that I go off in my way and make my videos and you go off in your way and make your videos. And we both just kind of go our separate paths so we don't lose that friendship or have any issues. But unfortunately, we could never have that conversation until now where I see this video and I understand. And I'm on good terms with him after watching this. I have nothing against him after watching this. But I just wanted to put in perspective my side of things and under have people understand that it wasn't like I just up and left. Uh, 
if you guys know me and any of my friends know me, that's not something I would ever do. Um, I kind of just didn't really have a choice, so I went full force with filming videos here, having fun. Again, I will say this a thousand times. I love making YouTube videos. Maddie came down filming for his channel. I started filming my stuff. I, you know, Scott's dog passed away. I reached out about that. I didn't get a thing back. So I kind of just assumed the door was closed. And I just was like, all right, this sucks, but I'm moving on. I'm moving on and it's the only thing I can do. And I, I'm okay with that. I was okay with moving on because me and him weren't seeing eye to eye. I just wish we could have had that discussion together so I could move on and do my thing and he could do his thing and we could just be civil and not have this weird like no communication barrier and have everyone be like, where's big boy in your videos? Big boy, why are you in Florida? Like it would have just been a simple answer. Like we were together for five years every single day. He didn't really like, uh, uh, like click with me anymore and I didn't really click with him. It was just like a thing. That's why I'm just trying to like make sense of it all and understand that like I, I have nothing bad about Scotty. I appreciate him for everything. And you people that are commenting that I would be nothing without Scotty, I, I understand. Like, I'm not saying that I ever would be. I never said that I would be. I'm just, I thank him for everything that he has done. I wish communication would have been better. That is the only thing that I wish would have changed with this whole situation. But now we have closure. Scotty is going to stay in New Jersey and take time for himself to figure his stuff out. And I wish him nothing but the best. I'm still best friends with Maddie. I still talk to all the guys back home. Me and Scott, we just don't jive anymore. So there's no point trying to force something that's not working and ruining something even more. So I'm doing my own thing here and he's doing his own thing there. And I am honestly really happy with where I'm at right now because I just feel like towards the end there, every single day with the constant like not thoroughly getting each other's thoughts, that our friendship was like continuing to suffer. And I'm glad that we've finally come to terms where he has this out. And I now know that he's taking time for himself and I'm doing my own thing. And I'm really happy that I'm in Florida doing my thing. And honestly, the same feeling that he said about being able to make a little bit of money off YouTube to be able to pay his friends. I am so happy to say that because of you guys, I'm making a little bit of money to be able to obviously continue to pay for anything that I have to pay for and be able to start paying my friends like Trey and Jabe and, you know, Dave for the art and all that stuff. Like I have my own thing. And then, you know, me and Maddie are still going to do stuff and all that stuff. I'm still really good friends with Maddie. Me and Scotty are just taking a little bit of a break right now to let ourselves just cool off. You guys have to understand that we were together every single day for five years. Bands go through this stuff all the time. People go through this stuff all the time. Unfortunately, we are on a YouTube world where things just get attacked and blown out of proportion. But I just wish through this entire thing that me and him could have more communication. Uh, when I reached out to him, I wish that we could have just kind of maybe put a cap on this in September when was the last time I heard from him. And, you know, all the other times I reached out in that time period and not hearing back, I feel like this could have been avoided. And I'm wishing him the best, and I know he wishes me the best. And I know you guys have seen his Instagram where he said there is no beef. And I'm truly telling you guys, there is no beef for me either. We're just taking time apart, and that's totally okay. As human beings, they're not always meant to be together forever. I mean, it, it is what it is. I hope that within a couple months, maybe a year, me and him can be civil again. But I honestly am going to go out there and say that I don't think that me and Scotty's relationship should be involving YouTube anymore. I think that might have been part of the reason that we were having some of our disagreements and just the work the work of actual YouTube, like the actual work of it, I think was what was getting in between us too. Just like ideas bouncing off each other, not being the same ideas for certain videos and stuff like that. I think that that, you know, it's like a band. People aren't seeing things in songs and I just think it wasn't working. So I think that in a couple months or a year that we can get back together with no videos. Just go back to the times where we were just friends and there was no YouTube. Like, I know it's been a while since that's happened, but I'm confident with saying that uh, me and Scotty will, you know, definitely be, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely figure things out. And I just think that you guys need to understand that with this crazy YouTube stuff that 
it might not be on YouTube. It might just be on a personal level. Like, unfor- like it's crazy to say this, but we, we have lives outside of YouTube. Like, we make YouTube videos, and that's what we do for a living, and it's awesome. And without you guys, without you guys, none of us would have anything. And we all know that. And we're all very appreciative of that. But what Scotty did say in his video that I really, really do agree with is sometimes you don't exactly know what other people are going through and what they're doing. So you shouldn't be so quick to jump to conclusion. And I think that's one thing that's really happened with social media is people are very quick to jump to conclusion. So just know that to really like end this video off, it's there's no beef. It's just time that I grew up start doing my own thing and move in my own direction. And Scotty goes and does his own thing and moves in his own direction. And then after a little bit of time separated because of the five years that we spent every single day together, maybe then we can come back and revisit things without the camera and just be friends and not be attached to this crazy YouTube world. But uh, I just want to thank every single one of you guys who has had supportive comments through this. And for all the negative comments, I don't, blame you guys. I understand where you guys are coming from, but just understand that sometimes you may misunderstand. I know I just said that like five times. You, I'm just, this is probably the most ranting on terrible video I've ever seen in your life, but just coming straight from here, like I'm just speaking and getting all the thoughts that are in my head off my, my mind, but not everything has to be put on the internet. And sometimes people go through things off the internet and I need to realize that too because I was so eager to film videos in New Jersey with Scott and I couldn't see and didn't understand some of the stuff that he was going through. I wish, again I'll say it again, I wish we could have communicated that with each other. But I hold no regrets, no grudges, nothing like that. I wish Scotty the best and I know he wishes me the best. And uh, yeah, let's just move on and then who knows guys in the future. It could be like nothing even ever happened, just maybe without the YouTube camera. But I'm going in my own direction. I'm still going to hang out with his little brother and all that stuff and do all that kind of stuff. And he's going in his direction. But for right now, we're taking an internet break from each other. So I hope you guys can all understand that. And seriously, positive or negative, I love you guys. And uh, I just, uh, I don't know. I, I really don't know how to end this video. Thank you for understanding.